Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. What is a listed product and where can I find the listing? I'll be basing the answer on NFPA 80 2019. Other editions are similar. The definition of listed is equipment, materials, or services included on a list published by an organization that is acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. The organization would be concerned with evaluation of products or services. They maintain periodic inspection of those listed equipment or materials or periodic evaluation of the services. And the listing states that either the equipment, material, or service meets the appropriate designated standards or has been tested and found suitable for a specified purpose. Keep in mind that some organizations involved in this type of testing and listing could even be ANSI BHMA and their certified product directory. But if we're talking strictly about listed products for use on fire doors, you would want to make sure that the listing that you're looking for included UL10C, which is the test for positive pressure swinging fire doors. The first place that I would look is in the manufacturer's catalog. Here's an example of a Sergeant 88 series exit device catalog, and it says that the devices are UL10C fire listed but it also shows that they're UL305 listed for panic. If I needed more information about the actual listing to provide to a building inspector, a fire marshal, or other authority having jurisdiction, I could search the UL product directory, and you can find that at ulprospector.com. It is free to search. I keep it bookmarked as a favorite reference site. You can search by brand name, and when you look at Sargent, for example, it has six pages worth of listings. I want to find the one for Panic Hardware. So I scroll down and I look, and there it is, Panic Hardware. I can click on the blue link, and that will take me here. It says that the product is investigated to UL305. I know I'm on the right track. I scroll down a little bit further and I find the listing for the 88 series devices and the prefixes that are included in this evaluation. I can see that this listing includes regular panic devices, those that don't have a 12 dash prefix and fire exit hardware that does include the 12 dash prefix. Ah, shucks, I made a rookie mistake. I'm in the wrong listing. I wanna make sure that my device is listed for fire UL10C, as well as for panic, UL305. So I go back to my search, and then I find the listing for fire exit hardware. All devices on this page have been investigated to ANSI UL10C, and the listing number is different. It's gxhx.r4313. You can use that listing number and check the door manufacturer's website to make sure that the device has a listing that can be used on their particular fire door. If I scroll down a little bit further to the 88 series, I find the listing, the maximum size of the door, and even the type of removable mullion to use for this listing. Remember that UL tests for many different things. Fire is only one of them. They also test for things like windstorm, and in this case for an exit device, for panic listing. Make sure that you're using the proper listing and then use the links to get further detailed information on that listing. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email code questions to katherine.flower at asaabloy.com, and I may use one in a future episode. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.